for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. This is the part four of my basement staircase makeover. The fun begins because this was not fun. What I just did, not fun at all. Um, I finished the steps. I just need to put the uh, varnish on it, but that's going to be probably the last thing I do. What I'm going to do today is play with the wainscoting um, beads board paneling and I'm going to start by putting it on this side right here okay so what I need to do is measure all of the steps and I'm just gonna cut one panel I think one panel is enough I'm hoping I don't have to do a seam between two panels um we'll see it doesn't really matter um because that's gonna get painted and you know, cocked or whatever. But the biggest part is going to be to measure every single step to have precision so I can insert the panel in here. It's gonna be glued with a special glue uh, on the wall. And once I'm done with that, I'll have to do all of the framing with it. It's the quarter round and every single one of them is gonna have a different angle. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty hard to do. Um, I'm not too good at geometry or math, so Wish me luck. Let's get started. So all the steps are dry and what I'm going to do is draw the whole staircase wall here on a piece of paper and I have to measure everything. Once that's done, I'm then going to reproduce this shape on one of the panels and cut it. <laughs> so let's see how long it's gonna take. Um, that's gonna be pretty difficult. But anyway, let me draw it first. So I don't know if you can see, but basically that's what the panel has to look like, right? So now I'm going to measure. Instead of doing it in inches, I'm going to do in a metric system because that's the one I know best. So I know that this is 111. Um, and then there's a dent right here. And that's going to be five, six, no, uh, exactly six and a half. Yep, so basically this is what I need to cut. Um, let me see first if the height here is the height of a full panel because otherwise I'm going to have to have a panel going this way and then stop here and add a little bit more at the bottom with a seam in between. Ah, almost there. Okay, so I have the length. Um, I have the right length, but it stops at 80, so it will stop just about here. So at about here, I'll have to cut, well, not cut, I'll have to get an additional piece that will be this piece right here. And I'd rather do it at the bottom than on the top because that's probably the one you're gonna see the least. Now, it's gonna be difficult because those seams, because it's bead, um, bead board, right? they're gonna have to really really match uh, so you can't see the seam so that's gonna be pretty difficult but I'm up for the challenge so uh, I'm gonna go for lunch and then when I come back I'll start cutting the top panel right here
turned out that this is actually more complicated than I thought it would be. But then again, a lot of things in life are like this, aren't they? So, I'm just gonna put that in. And I got it tight enough that, to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna need um, to put glue on it. Yeah, I won't need to put any glue because this is tight and I just got to work on the bottom part here. Looks pretty good. Uh, the corner here is a little bit lifted so I have to keep pounding it um, in order for me to be able to put the quad around on it. Let me see if I can get this in because it looks like I'm a little bit over. And I'm putting the uh, paper towel here so I don't make a uh, dent. It makes a big mess when you cut it. Um, I may not have the right blade. Yeah, I don't think I, I'm not going to need to um, glue this one. I have one little gap right here. I'll figure out how I'm going to um, fill it up. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is just take a few nails, you know, like a few nails, and um, just secure it. I don't think I need the glue for that. Um, so let me do that and then I'll come back. I have to put my camera battery on um, the charger anyway. But I don't know. What do you think so far? Um, I'm missing a big piece at the bottom so I have to get another panel. The problem with this is that when you use the blade uh, to do it, you know, it's um, it, it flies off <laughs> with all sorts of stuff. That's okay, no big deal. Um, but So I have to clean each time. And um, yeah. I think this is going to look good once I have um, the quarter mound, the quarter um, round mold all around it. I think this is going to look really good. So let me finish this, adjust it here and there. I'm going to put my camera on the charger and when you see me again, this will be really installed properly and then I'll cut the next one and then we'll do the quarter round. So yep, be right back. Okay guys, I am losing light. Uh, it's 7 o'clock. It's time for me to stop. So I've done the whole panel and there was a seam so you can see the pink stuff is in there. I'm hoping it doesn't show. Again, that's going to be lightly sanded because I don't want the um, plaster or whatever to come off and I may need to put a second coat. I may do that tomorrow morning. And then the rest is right here. So I'm going to go up so you can see what it looks like. I don't want to do a quarter round now because um, I'm tired. And quite frankly, uh, I need to do my weekly home blessing. I haven't done it yet. So I got the house to clean. Um, but this is what it looks like. So it's definitely brighter. Uh, I like it. I think it's going to look really good once I have the quarter round on it. Um, I hope you don't see the seam once it's painted and everything, but you know what, if you I do, then maybe I'll just put a uh, um, a piece of molding over it, um, you know, and that's it. So tomorrow I'll finish that, it'll be part of the same video, and then in the next video I'll do this wall, which is going to require no cutting, so it should be easier. This was not easy at all, so I'll see you in a second, for me it's going to be tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Um, morning of Monday. It's 10 o'clock, something like that. So this is what I did when I left you. I put the whole paneling on this. Not too happy with the seam right here. I'm probably going to have to put another layer of uh, caulk on it um, to patch it because I really don't want to see the seam, okay? And I'm trying to avoid having to put a uh, strip over it. So what I'm going to do Today is take the quarter round, right? And I'm going to do the quarter round around it. So we'll do the quarter round here and then going down and then it's gonna go all around the steps. The problem, of course, is the angle. So I have a minor box. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm not gonna mess up on this. I think the most difficult part is going to be uh, this one right here because it's gonna go down this way. And then I have just a little bit, but then again, I think the quarter round is big enough. So if I just cut them square, I may be able to do it right and then just um, sand it right to a round corner. Mm, I don't know. Um, there's some areas, like you can see right, hold on, where's my hand? Right here. 
um, where I'm missing a little bit. Uh, I think the quarter round covers it. If it doesn't, I'll just caulk whatever is missing either in the front or in the back because it's not a lot. Um, we'll see. Okay, so um, I know this is 111 centimeters. I just need to figure out how to do the angle, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, let me see. I gotta think. Let me put the camera down and I have to think. This is the kind of thing that um, once I get the hang of it, I think I'll be all right. So um, this is 111. This length here. I'm just gonna coat. I'm just going to cut it. Um, don't worry about the chair. This is going to a trash pretty soon. I found it on the street anyway. Um, so I'm going to cut it straight first. Okay. Got a little bit of a problem here. Alright, so I don't need to sand this yet. Just going to check um, the length first. I don't want to get too excited about this one because this is the first one and it's the one that goes on top and that's basically a straight. Okay, so it fits, which is good. Uh, but now i got to figure out how I'm going to do the angle. Alright, so, um, hmm. i got to think. <laughs> the next one is going to do this one. It's going to go up this way. Um, right, so the angle here has to go this way. And then one underneath has to go this way as well. Does that make sense? I don't know. Let's try it. I'm going to do a 45 degree angle going towards the inside. I think I got it. So, um, so this is the top. Let me see if you can. Am I in focus? I don't know. And this is going to be the one that joins on the other side like this. There we go. All right, you see that? Uh, I'm out of focus. Okay, but you get the idea, right? So that's what I'm doing. So I did this piece right here. So you see it's angled here and it's angled there, right? So if I put my top bar, I'm going to try to do that with just... There we go. All right, so that's the seam right here. Okay, so all of that little gap you see right here, this is all going to get caulked. So, oops, lost the focus. We're not worried too much about that. Now I just realized something. The longest point from here to here is the actual length that I need, right? So when I'm putting the one that's going to go over this, it's going to be the inner part of the angle that's going to be the length from here to here. Because the top part is basically going to go, I can't show you, but it's basically going to go like this right with an angle going this way not this part but that way i can put the other one so when you do the inside you have to account for the actual length of the angle i don't know if i'm making sense i'm gonna glue those and uh, see what they look like and then we're going to start doing the one right here um and see whether or not i'm right and that you have to calculate the length from here to the inner part of the angle with the overlap of the angle going this way. I think that makes sense. Okay, I'm using iron grip. Um, it's a silicone glue. It supposedly glues where everybody else doesn't. Well, shall see. I'm gonna put it on both sides. here in case of drip let's make sure I didn't mess it up and apply pressure can you see what I'm doing I should go do a close-up right so for the big one the angle goes this way on the left side and goes that way on the right side, right?
So remember, no matter what you do, they all 45 degree angle. So this is the one I install. Here's the one angle. And then I need the angle to go this way. So I have a piece. Oops, that goes this way. Um, like this. All right. So the part that's here stops right at the edge of the step. And the part that's going to go over here is going to have an angle um, this way. And then the other one is going to be different. But basically, you measure from here to here. And that's where you start your angle. I hope I'm explaining this right. It's uh, it's not complicated. It's just that you got to think and you got to stop and think, right? So the one that's going to go here is pretty much. I'm going to show it to you backward because I can do it with this. Um, it's going to go this way. So you see the angle right here going slanted towards going up towards the right. Okay, and this one, nope, goes this way. So it's going to form the uh, uh, the corner right here okay here we go not the greatest job but that gets sanded right here and that will fit so I have at least it's a tight seam and then this here only problem is that I have a gap right here so that's gonna get filled up so I figured a better way to do this you do the risers first and then you do the threads rather than doing one after the other because once you do the risers, you have the exact measurement. Um, it's much easier to do the uh, um, the one on the thread. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take a break. And when I see you again, I'll probably have all of this done. And then we can start tackling this side right here and figure out what I'm going to do with the little itty bitty corner on that side. Okay, quick update. This is what I got so far. Um, it's not that difficult. I made one mistake. I had to recut. I have some little gaps in between. All of this is going to get filled up, so no problem. I have one, two, three threads and two risers to do. So, yep. Um, I think it's going to look good. I mean, listen, all of this is getting patched. The nails are going to disappear. Everything's going to get caulked. Um, don't forget that this is going to get all painted. So once it's finished, I think it's going to look pretty good. I'm happy with it so far. It's not the most accurate job, but hey, you know what? I'm new at this, so I'm happy. I'm doing it by myself, and I think it's rewarding. So, yep, yeah, see you when I'm done. So I've done it all the way to the bottom. Um, this one needs to be sanded. I mean, they all need to be rounded a little bit, uh, but the um, corner here is actually pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap here, but what am I going to do? You know what? Most of the step, you see there's a little ledge here? They're not straight. This one doesn't have it. This one has it. So it creates little gaps right here. It's bothering me, but what am I going to do? Huh? Old steps. Anyway, so I was missing a piece over on top. I patched it here. Once it gets sanded and patched, you won't see it, plus the paint. Uh, now, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> so, I don't know what to do with this. So, um, I gotta figure it out. Um, let me draw it, think about it, and then I'll come back and show you uh, how I'm going to handle this little corner right here. Woohoo, I'm done. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, step molding is super hard. <laughs> it's super hard. Um, this is the first time I do it, and I have to tell you, it's not as easy as you would think like oh yeah I'm just gonna do 45 degree angle now um, I think you're better off doing them bigger or longer and then sending them down to have a good fit rather than having little gaps and filling them up but that's what I've done all the gaps I filled um, and what I'm doing right now is starting to sand um, with very very fine grit where um, it's dry, right? So I still have some pink. I'm going to show you um, what it looks like right now. As for the corner there, couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, the problem is that it's not the same width on one side to the other. So I just cut a little tiny piece and finished off the whole length. And I'm just going to leave this gap because it's like two eighths of an inch from the other molding. So it's really not a big deal. All of this is going to get caulked at some point. Um, right now I'm just doing the putty to uh, fill in the gap and I put another layer of putty on that line that I have um, and I think I got it so let me show you what it looks like 
So everything has been puttied and you can see that some areas here are still pink. Uh, and what I started doing is sand where the nails were. So you see there was a nail right here. So it's underneath the putty, you can see it. All of this is going to get um, sanded as well. I started sanding here. You see the color difference, but when you touch it, you don't really feel a groove. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Um, and then all the way on top, this is again, this is what I did. I added a little piece here just to finish it off. And then this part here will have nothing because it's just a little bit of an edge here. Um, and then all of this needs to be sanded. I still have the putty drying on it. So once everything is dry and sanded, I'll go ahead and caulk everything so you don't see any of those seams. Um, I'm just gonna use white caulk and that's about it. So for now, I'm just sanding and I'll come back once it's all sanded and done. It looks good. It's not perfect, but it looks good. Um, I have a few of the step joints, whatever you call it, that need to dry before I apply another layer of caulk or um, what do you call it? Um, oh, I'm so tired, I can't remember. The stuff you sand, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, because they're not perfect, like this one for instance. Right, I have to add another layer right here just to um, finish it off. But it's still a little wet, so I don't want to do that now. But otherwise, this is what it looks like. So all of the seams have been completed. I don't have um, I don't have a gap. I don't have a gap um, anywhere, so that's good. And this part here is done as well. So you see I filled up the whole gap and this is what it looks like here in the corner. Um, over there, this is what it looks like. And remember, once it's covered in paint, you can't really see anything. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Again, this one I need to redo. But it needs to dry first. So my biggest problem is this thing. I don't know whether or not it's going to show. It doesn't really feel like there's a dent. Is the paint going to cover it and blend it in? I don't know. Um, I have to wait and see, I guess. Like I said, worst comes to worst, I'll just put a little strip of something. But otherwise, when you come up the stairs, it looks much better. Um, I can't wait to be done with this. <laughs> just like I really did. I really can't. Um, I think it looks better than what I had before. I'm still debating whether or not I want to keep this yellow or bring it back to the uh, gray uh, to brighten it up. I don't know. Um, you guys tell me down below, yellow, gray. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks much better. It looks much finished. But the other side is going to be a big problem um, because there's a big gap between the... Uh, well, that looks pretty good from here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a larger gap between the wall and the steps. So. I may have to shimmy the whole thing and put like some wood on the side but yeah once it's all painted and once I have the steps um, nicely stained one more time and then um, buffed and shine with the tongue oil I think it's gonna look really really cool so when you come down yeah so I still have this box here I can't do anything about it that's again that's the uh, boiler emergency stop 
don't know why they put it there but I'm not gonna question so when you come down it basically looks like this right and right much better now on this side because I banged a few nails in order to uh, get the stuff in the uh, cork here the putty cracked so I have to refill it um, but other than that not too much extra work was created by doing this I can't wait to see it all painted um, I really can't I think it's gonna look much neater much cleaner much more finished this side here is gonna get done next weekend I'm still thinking what am I going to do I may actually just box the whole thing instead of doing uh, one level and then another let me just bring it to the same level and just do one wall but that means that I'm losing some space I just got open space here by moving the post up one step um, do I want to close this off? I don't know. We'll see. You'll find out in the next episode. So of course I look a mess. <laughs> okay. I slept on wet hair last night, so it doesn't help, right? <laughs> look at this. Um, I need to go take a shower. I want to do my nails because um, I'm going back to work tomorrow and um, edit yesterday's video. So you guys can have it tonight. Um, I'm glad I'm doing this. I have never never done this before this is brand new to me uh, I just made a dent idiot okay this is brand new work to me so I've learned something um, I learned through doing not so much through um, I mean yeah from watching others but mostly I learned um, from doing and then if I'm in a pinch and I don't know or I'm unsure I'll just go on the internet and find out or look at the books that I have some of them in there but yeah again when you're gonna do um if you ever do step molding you're better off making them a little bit tinier like a scant cut um to have them longer so you can send them to make them fit tighter rather than me having the exact measurement and then because of sometimes this piece here protruding out or not protruding out the uh, um there was a gap it created a gap right here so now i have to cover the gap with putty and that's okay i mean it's just you know um i'm just gonna keep filling them with putty and then round them out really nicely uh, by hand and once it's painted you won't see the difference um, but it's extra work so that's it that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like this series um, yeah I mean it's gonna look really really good let me show you the landing up here because now that I have this color um, this floor here really needs to be worked on as well um, these are the steps I was telling you about yesterday that's the water dog the dog's water in that thing so when you come down um, you get this color and this really got damaged from not only the dogs but the water you know when you come in if I put a rug that's the problem if I put a rug right here the dogs eat the rug so the floor is damaged I need to really sand it but what I was thinking of doing is staining it sanding it and restaining it so that um, when you come from this area to the other to this it's gonna be the same color right that would make sense and uh, yeah all right I'm rambling and I'm tired so I will see you next week um, for part five I think when I start tackling the other side Ugh, I, I'm still thinking about what I'm gonna do it's gonna be pretty much the same look it's just a different technique of how to do it because of that um, ledge and the pipe um, which by the way yesterday I told you was the pipe to give the hot water to the uh, um, washing machines it's not it's the heating pipe it's the pipe that goes to the radiators around the laundry room okay so anyway give me a thumbs up if you like this video and this project don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner and I guess I will see you next time thanks for watching you guys bye